Hit Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, it's Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for Thursday, it's August the 26th. Now, newlywed Anna Paquin from True Blood and Kristen Bell, that cute girl from Forgetting Sarah Marshall, they both signed on to be on the next Scream movie, Scream 4. And they've really lined up a really great cast. They've got the original stars, Nev Campbell, back. You've got Courtney Cox and David Arquette, who, of course, met and fell in love on the original Scream movie. And coming this year, we've got Hayden Panettiere, Adam Brody, whatever happened to Adam Brody. He's still acting. He's doing this. And also Emma Roberts, who would, of course, be Julia's niece. Now, Chris Brown had a little boys' night out the other night in New York with Lil John and Drake. Went to one restaurant, got bombarded by girls, had to leave there and go to a nightclub called The Greenhouse. And that's where they hooked up with three of the Wayans brothers. Just, you know, pick random three. And also Wilder Valdemarama. Wilder Valdemarama? I don't remember. Anyway, the only thing I really remember about him besides that 70s show is he was Lindsay Lohan's first boyfriend. Do you remember that? Anyway, he still hanging out at nightclubs. Chris took over the DJ booth for a bit and played his next single, Deuces, and then played some music also by Little John and Drake. His movie, Takers, is in theaters tomorrow. Jimmy Fallon hosting the Sunday night's Emmy Awards, and he's doing something a little different this year. He's asking his fans to tweet him any funny comments or stories they might have about some of the celebrity presenters that night, and he's going to incorporate that into his monologue, into the introductions, and you can send those tweets to at Jimmy Fallon, easy enough to remember. Us Weekly reporting exclusively that things got a little ugly between Glee stars Mark Soling and Naya Rivera, who played Puck and Santana on the show. They dated in real life, never confirmed it in the media, but everybody knew. It was still a casual thing, nothing exclusive. However, when Naya started reading about Mark with other girls, she went ballistic, egged and keyed his Lexus. No comment from her reps on that. And if you thought it was going to last, you're going to be disappointed to hear that Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth aren't dating anymore, and we hear that he actually dumped her. Now, the two of them met on the set of the last song last year. She says at the time, you know, she was just getting over that breakup with Nick Jonas, and she was done with men. You know, she just wanted to be free and have fun for a while, and here comes Liam just being so Liam, and he's polite, he's funny, he's tall, he's handsome, didn't really have any perception of her, you know, because he's from Australia as far as the American media goes, so he came into it with a clean slate, but she screwed it up somehow and he dumped her. And that's your show, Miss Top 5. Check out more blogs, pics, videos, and celebrity gossip, all at KidLive.com. KidLive.com.